Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited about this product. I can't wait to show it to you guys. As you saw in the clip leading up to this one, uh, this is an under hood light for the 2022 WRX. This thing is super unique. You know how I like unique stuff. You know how I like custom stuff. And all this is really, it's super simple, but it's super effective. It is a 3D printed bracket and it is very strong. I mean, it's a durable bracket. It comes with a super bright LED that has an on off switch right on the LED, a wiring harness and an inline fuse all to do a nice clean install. It's gonna be a nice factory clean looking install. You're never gonna know it's there unless you turn the light on. So this is gonna be really cool for you guys. Um, it's really good because for someone like me who has been on the side of the road broken down at night and I can't see what the hell I'm doing and I have my phone in one hand and a wrench in the other, it's a nightmare. So if you're ever in that situation, this thing is like a game changer and it's super bright. So you're gonna see everything on the top of the motor. Not just that, but it's also great for car shows, stuff like that. And it is an LED, so it's gonna be a low draw. Uh, super cool. So I've left the LEDs inside my interior on overnight for hours and hours and hours and the battery doesn't drain so potentially you could leave this thing on for a long time and it's not going to drain your battery so very cool uh it's a super simple install it should take less than 10 minutes so the video shouldn't hopefully be too long if it is it's just me trying to show you everything but we have two bolts to remove on the hood two bolts to remove on the battery terminals and the rest is just running a little bit of wiring all right so let's go ahead and get this started we have two 12 millimeter bolts holding on this latch so we can go ahead and loosen those up. Careful not to drop these down in the engine bay because I almost just did that. And then slide the LED bracket down over just like so. And then we can reinstall the nuts. These don't need to be super tight. They weren't on there super tight from factory. So just don't go too crazy with them. Obviously you want them to be tight, but you don't want to go crazy with it. All right, so hopefully I won't get in the way of you seeing what I'm doing here. I'll try and stay out of the front of the camera view. We're just going to take this twisty off. We're going to slowly let this wire kind of come down and then we're going to start feeding this through. So where we're aiming for, is this slot over here. So we're gonna feed the wires through this slot and it's kind of pinched in here. So the wire shouldn't fall down. We should just be able to push the wire down to that slot. So I'm just gonna fish that wire across until it comes out the other side. All right, so I can grab it with my finger right there. I'm gonna pull that out. There's a lot of slack in this wire, but we're just gonna Pull this through now. I'm going to continue feeding it down. That way the wire doesn't come out of here at all. All right, there we go. Okay, that's pretty pretty well hidden. Um, it, it's not coming out anywhere now, it's just on the inside and we'll run a zip tie there and it should be fine. And then we'll zip tie this in here too. So now we're just gonna run this wire down and so this is kind of going to go like that. The rest of this wire, I am tucking up underneath the fender liner. And then the rest, we should be able to tuck down behind the battery. So I have some zip ties here. I'm going to put one up here underneath this wire and just zip tie it to the hood. Boom. Super nice and tight in there. 
and snip that one off. Perfect. I'll be honest, it's probably gonna be a little tricky to get the zip tie through here and out the other hole. Let's see if I can do it. I'll bend the zip tie just a little bit and try to get it to come out this other hole. No promises though, this might be a little tricky. Let me see if I can work this. Kind of bent the zip tie to create like a hook and that worked, perfect. So now we'll take our wire and we'll zip tie it like so. Perfect. Almost looks like a washer fluid line for the windshield washer. So it really doesn't look out of place at all underneath this hood. And then you guys can't really see it in the camera, but there is one more hole on this hinge, just like right here. So you can see I have the zip tie through there and I am going to tighten that down onto the hinge. So, and trim that. Another small hole that you won't be able to see that I'm gonna zip tie to is right here underneath the strut. And I'm gonna use that to keep this wire as neat and tidy as I can. Snip that off. Okay, so the last thing to do now, we have this connector right here. All we gotta do is crimp this down. So it's already got a connector on there. Here's our inline fuse. We're just gonna take this wire, push it into the connector, and we will crimp it. My crimpers aren't very good, but I think we got it. And this is a heat shrink connector, so it will shrink up to the wire. If we give it a little bit of heat, get a nice good seal on that. Okay, so now we're just gonna loosen up this 10 millimeter on the positive terminal. Remove this nut from the terminal. Then we can put our donut connector over top and reinstall the nut. We can put our cover back on. Then on this terminal, we have one 10 millimeter on the negative terminal. So we're just gonna loosen that up. And we're gonna put this negative connector onto the negative terminal and tighten down the nut. That is it guys, that is install complete. So with all that done, let me turn off the lights, make it very dark in here. Whoa, okay. And then press our button. Where is it? There it is. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. So I can see everything, right? I can see every nut and bolt through here. I can see all the bolts to my intercooler. I could take my intercooler off with this light. I could get my catch cans. I could get to my charge pipe, check my oil, you know, do a lot of things with this light, actually. I'm quite surprised how much it lights up. This is very nice. And it's not like, the way it's angled down, it's not like shining outwards at all. Like you can see it's like a spotlight directly onto the motor. This is sweet. I've seen way simpler things for way more money on the market all the time. So if you guys are looking for something cool, a little quirky to add to your car, I mean, you could have this on at car shows at nighttime, you know, whatever, this thing is sweet. I could do a lot of things. This is awesome. <laughs> This is really cool. I thought about doing something like this before on my old cars and I was just gonna do a LED strip and I tried it and it looked terrible. This looks so OEM, like you don't even know it's there until you turn it on. So let me go ahead, turn on the other lights and that's it. I mean, it's that simple to install. It's, it's wonderful. You guys, I, I love it. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick one of these up for yourself. I think it's a great mod. I think it's very functional. It has a lot of purposes. 
and it looks great. It looks OEM. You don't even know it's there. I really, I installed it and I'm going to forget that it's there. And one day I'll be fumbling around for my flashlight and I'll be like, wait a minute. I got this beautiful little light right here under my hood. That is so freaking cool. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.